Today we are finally getting into these engagement photos that me and my fiance did ourselves. I had content to shoot for this Tampa Airbnb. We had the opportunity to stay in this amazing house. Literally like 12 minutes from the Hard Rock Casino, one of our favorite places to visit. So, so pretty. So our first stop was our local Publix. It was about three minutes away. So I scheduled this cake for pickup a couple days before and oh my god. It was a whole mess. Yes, that says the one with the engagement. Not engagement, engagement. Of course, I didn't realize until we left the store, but I said, you know what? I could fix this. I could totally fix this. So we're back at the Airbnb. I said, you know what? I'm going to sit down and I'm going to finesse this M into an N, which I think I did pretty good on. But what had happened was is that I sat back for a second and I was like, hmm. I'm just not feeling it. And of course, my fiance does not help the situation because he's laughing. So I said a prayer. I had my little moment of disappointment. And I said, I'm going to put this away and come back to this. So knowing the creative and frugal queen that I am, we decided to go to our local Dollar Tree. I was picking out artificial flowers. I grabbed some icing with a cake decorating kit. And before spending every single penny that I have on Dollar Tree items, I decided to go back to the Airbnb. So my plan A, my initial plan was to take off all this writing and basically rewrite it myself. So I want to quickly get into the engagement photo shoot. Inspo, I have been glued best friends with Pinterest for the last few months. And I came across this gem right here, which I thought was absolutely perfect. It's a car scene. My fiance absolutely loves cars. So after going back and forth in my head a million times on whether or not I wanted to shoot my photos or if I wanted to hire someone, I realized this car scene was not gonna work for a few different reasons. We knew it would take time and money to find a vintage car, the perfect scene, a photographer so I can actually enjoy that moment with my fiance all for us to be super awkward and like super introverted in front of this photographer and probably get pictures that we do not enjoy so creating a space where we can still be ourselves was like top priority so i came across this inspo with a little bit of this inspo i kind of pushed it together and i was like this is going to be perfect but as you could probably tell already writing with icing is not easy so we went this route and i think it's gorgeous this is the bedroom that we slept in, so I figured it would be absolutely perfect to set up all my equipment here. The vibe we were going for was like comfortable, casual, so this was just it. Now this is one of the few times that my fiance sees me in content creation mode. He's usually working, and because I work on social media, most of my content is filmed at home. So what does Jonathan do when he has no idea what's going on and he's getting a little overstimulated? He rests. Yes, my darlings, he was resting right in the middle of me setting up. And he had the audacity to put on my white sunglasses. So I added some flowers to his hands for a little extra touch. Of course, I had to take some pictures. And I finished setting up my lighting. So between my lighting and the natural light coming in the room, this is how it looked. And there's Jonathan, of course. You know, I had to get real fancy with my Canon camera, you know, set up the whole thing. And after almost two hours, Jonathan finally got up and I could finish my masterpiece. I took the remainder of the artificial flowers that I bought. I also bought some white rose petals, but then I realized it wouldn't make sense, so I didn't get to use them. Once Jonathan was finally out of the bed, I got to angle the camera exactly how I wanted it to be, and it was cake time. I have to say, adding these white flowers was like the best thing I could have ever done. I think it looked absolutely perfect. For this shoot, of course, I wanted it to be super relaxed, so I didn't want to get too glam, but you know, I, of course, I was looking cute as ever. I had the hair slightly teased and some waves. And how cute are my I do slippers? I had Jonathan go for a white relaxed tee, and at least one of us was relaxed because, baby, behind the camera, I am such a perfectionist. Now, you know, Jonathan was stressed. I'm dying because he's already out of his comfort zone. He's not feeling it. He just woke up and <laughs> he's just he's just waiting for direction at this point. So my plan was to have my Canon camera just recording and then I would just take certain stills from there. Let me tell you something. Me and Jonathan have been together for almost 14 years. And when I tell you we felt so weird at this point, 
we had no idea what to do, how to pose, and this is where Pinterest really comes in handy. I had some love songs playing in the background and just enjoying that moment and just being natural really helped. But then Jonathan was over me because I realized that we needed to switch sides because my ring is on my left hand and I definitely wanted to get a closer and more intimate shot so I had to move forward. See now I was trying to explain to Jonathan that this wasn't like the typical like just smile and take a picture kind of thing. Like this was supposed to be engagement photos, supposed to be natural and love, airy, beautiful, kiss and hugs. But one of my favorite things about Jonathan is that he's able to get me out of my head and like back down to earth. So once I started to relax and just have fun, that's when everything came together. At this point, I'm just recording. I have no idea how these photos look yet and I, I was stressed. And quite honestly, Jonathan just wanted to eat some cake, so I decided to bring the light a little closer, set up my regular phone, and also take pictures very up close with just me and him, just more of a personal vibe. And y'all, that was the icing on the cake because look how these photos came out. I feel like we were truly able to capture like our personalities, how much we love each other. We both look super comfortable. This is one of my favorite, favorite photos along with this one and i have them both in color as well black and white was just a vibe i was able to edit and crop these with snapseed i posted these photos to our wedding website and these were also posted to my instagram as well y'all tampa was so beautiful i could not pick a more perfect setting to take these photos this whole trip was just really amazing and i'm so proud of what we were able to pull together in such a short time we're not having this huge extravagant wedding but we're also not going to the courthouse like i originally thought we are going to continue to share updates with you guys i just cannot wait as always thank you guys so 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 much for watching and i will catch you on the next one bye guys